And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Movie Fanatic, who writes, Hey, John and Rob. Rob's usually not here on Thursdays. Well, tragic news just got released today that a actor Michael Constantine died at the age of 94. My Big Fat Greek Wedding is still one of the best comedies ever, I agree, uh, in my opinion, and it's terrible that so many people in the film industry are passing away. Thanks, and have a great day. Yeah, it was, um, I'm not going to lie to you, it was with great sadness uh, that I found out that Michael Constantine had passed away. Now, of course, a lot of us became aware of him with My Big Fat Greek Wedding. A little bit of interesting trivia. I believe My Big Fat Greek Wedding holds the all-time box office record for the longest stay in the top 10 box office list without ever being number one at the box office. It, it, it has the record for the longest stay in the top 10 box office charts without ever having been number one at the box office, uh, which was incredible. And him in it, playing the dad. He was such an integral part of the heart and the soul of that movie. And it was just very, very special. And you know what? It wasn't just people who were Greek that were able to appreciate it. Like any of us of any kind of European descent, like my family's Italian, obviously, but watching my big fat Greek wedding, I could just, I just felt like you, if they changed the accent and the names of the foods and things like that, you very well could have said this was called my big fat Italian wedding. I mean, you could, you could have practically done that. And I think a lot of people with like European descent felt kind of the same way, felt the same way about it. Anyway, this comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who writes, Constantine was best known as Gus Portokalos in my big fat Greek wedding, an indie film that rose out of nowhere to become a smash hit. It spawned a sequel, which was not great. <laughs> and a third version was in the planning stages. Constantine had a long career before that breakout hit. He was the school principal on the popular TV series Room 222, which ran on ABC TV from 1969 to 1974. He won an Emmy for the role in 1970. Beyond that role, he also appeared on TV shows like The Untouchables, Kojak, and Airwolf. His credits also include guest roles on Naked City, Perry Mason, Ironside, Gunsmoke, uh, Gunsmoke and Hey Landlord in the 1960s and Remington Steel, Murder, She Wrote, and Law and Order in the 80s and 90s. Um, I want to tell just a, a quick little story too. I had the privilege, you might have heard me mention this before. I had the privilege of meeting and, and getting to sit down and have lunch one day with Michael Constantine. Um, he and I both attended the this one thing called the 48 hour film school that uh, Quentin Tarantino recommended a couple of filmmaker friends of mine uh, recommended it to me and so I thought sure I'm going to go take this this two day uh program put on by this guy called Dove Simmons and I went and attended it down in Hollywood and it was held at the Rally Studios down in Hollywood and uh, Michael Constantine was there attending it as well I mean there was a bunch of people there but Michael Constantine was there as well and he and I ended up sitting beside each other and uh, during the thing, and on day one, uh, I asked him, you know, would you like to come have lunch? He said, sure. And there's this place up the road from Rally Studios in Hollywood called like Astro Burger or something like that. So we just walked over there and we sat down and had lunch. And I was asking him, like, I just out of curiosity, I mean, you're all, you're an Emmy winner, <laughs> you know, You've, you're an award winning actor already. You know, what, what are you doing here? And he went on for the next like 20 to 30 minutes talking about if there's anything I've learned in the business is that you've never learned everything, which I thought was amazing. I thought that's, first of all, that's just a great uh, quote for life. That's just a great quote for life. If I've learned anything in this business is that you've never learned everything. And then he went on to talk a lot about his just pure passion for storytelling, how much he loved the movies how much he loved TV, how much he loved the honor that he had to be able to, for an hour and a half to two hours in a movie theater or for 30 minutes to an hour on a TV screen, come into people's lives or into people's homes and be a part of entertainment and, and fantasy and 
all this kind of stuff. He loved storytelling. He loved it. And he was like, and you know, I'm getting older. And this was, uh, this was a few years ago. He goes, you know, I'm getting older and I would really like to get more into, you know, making these stories as, a, as opposed to being the actor in front of it. And, you know, so I'm always looking to learn more and I just want to tell stories and just, I just sat there for that 45 minute lunch, just enraptured. Do you ever feel like sitting like a schoolgirl staring at Indiana Jones? That was me. I was just like listening to Michael Constantine talk about the magic of storytelling and how passionate he was about it and how much he loved it and how much it meant to him. And you could see that joy. You could see that joy. When you go back and you watch like a My Big Fat Greek Wedding or something like that, just in the way he plays it on camera, you could see the love he has in his heart for the art. And um, I was very, um, I was very sad to hear about his passing. Um, <laughs> Mark Newman in the live chat is asking, "Did you pick up the bill, John?" As a matter of fact, I did. We just had burgers, so it was fine. But I did pick up the bill. I bought Michael Constantine lunch one day. But. Um, Hearing him that day helped me focus on what it was I loved about movies and what I loved about the art and what I loved about storytelling as a fan, but also somebody who wanted to do a little bit of it. And uh, so, yeah, very sad to hear about his passing. He was 94 years old. He lived a great life. Again, uh, Emmy Award winning actor. Michael Constantine passes away at the 94 at, at uh, the age of 94. And all of us here who are involved with the John Campus Show send our best thoughts and wishes to all those who knew and loved him. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about when you think about Michael Constantine? You, I already told you the story about what I think about. Jump on down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.